Lights of a single unknown wavelength, so don't know what it is, and blue light of a single wavelength are both incident on a normal uh, on incident normally on a diffraction grating. So if I use this dotted line to represent my diffraction grating, we got blue light coming in and we got some who knows what color also coming in. Two diffraction patterns are produced, one for each wavelength of light. Here's the part where it's important. The third order maximum for blue light occurs at the same angle as a uh, mysterious light. What color shall we use? Uh? Let's just use pink color. Lah. As the second order for an unknown wavelength. Okay, so blue is given to us. So let's draw that out. You have the blue, which is second or uh, sorry, third order for uh, 480 nanometers. But you also have this mysterious other pink light. I don't know what is this. Maybe it's pink, maybe it's not. I just draw on here. This is second order. And who knows what wavelength. And they both are at the same angle. Because they overlap. That's how we can tell from this line. Occurs at the same angle. So what's our known wavelength? I guess if you're not sure where to start, we got to start with the equation. So let's go. So n lambda equals to d sine theta is our equation for diffraction grating. In this case... Hmm, we have two, we only know the lambda and the n. How about the rest? We don't know. But for each wavelength or each grating, the d is the same. Same grating, right? We didn't change, we shine through the same grating. Then we have sine theta, same angle, right, for both of them. So we can assume this equals to constant and do a ratio. So that way you can say that n lambda equals to the n lambda of the other one. So if you sub in all the values, you will get that this one is 3. And I'm going to keep this in nanometers so that I get my answer in nanometers. And then the ratio of the other one will be 2 times the mysterious wavelength lambda. We shall get in the end, what's our wavelength here? We get a wavelength of 720 nanometers. And is there an answer for this? Yes, there is. So B. So when we see grating question, just, just write the equation and start to think from there what info you have, what info is missing, are there any ratios you can do. Okay, that's all for this question. See you in the next one.